Hello, this is Franklin McMahon from Media Artist Secrets, MediaArtist.com. We're here at Creative Cow today, and we're gonna we're gonna go over um, Photoshop CS2 and taking an image and really highlighting elements of it. You know, taking an image and really taking it to the next level by adding some effects to it. Um, and I don't mean filters. A lot of times you'll throw on some filters and do some snazzy stuff, but this is really kind of selectively highlighting different parts and different elements. And uh, here's a photo I took of a model. This was for a magazine and um, basically we're going to kind of emphasize some of these things and alter some of the background and oh just have fun play around uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to grab um, the backdrop here like so and uh, we're going to just use the magic wand and select that and then we're going to feather it a little bit um, now let's do like a two um, and we're going to go to uh, a new filter called Fiber. This is one of the rendering filters in CS2. Fiber is right there. And as you can see, it does a pretty cool job of um, making the background look pretty groovy. And you can adjust the strength and this randomize button. Um, and what we want to do is just drop the strength down, click OK. And then we're going to do deselect like so. So now we've got a pretty... Uh, Pretty cool backdrop, but we want to emphasize a little. Let me step backwards, grab that selection. Um, you can go further. Now, once this is selected, once you do something with it, you can do things like um, you know, change the hue and the saturation if you want to alter it. Um, a lot of times what I like to do is actually, uh, let's bump up the saturation. I like to do some um, blurring because I think that really, really looks pretty cool. And... Uh, Again, if you want to do a little more feathering with that selection, we can go up to like 20. Oh, that's really crazy. And uh, add some blur there. So uh, let's click OK. Let's deselect. So again, you've added a pretty dramatic um, backdrop, and it's been, it was pretty easy. Now, Again, we could have just applied the filter rendering uh, tool, but we, I mean the fiber, but we, you know, we went a, a couple steps further, and, and my goal here is to get you to kind of play around with stuff. We're going to revert this, go back to normal. There we go. Now, there's a couple tools here. Um, these two, uh, if you do any photo work, these two are essential, and they're really easy to use. Um, dodge and burn, you may have heard of, um, and also sharpen and smudge. Um, really play around with these, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, the dodge cool, the dodge tool will really lighten parts up, and you can adjust the midtones and the exposure and stuff. I'm just going to use the defaults here, um, and then of course the opposite end of that is the burn tool which really emphasize the the darks here. So I'm actually going to really darken up her eyebrows and really add some drama here. Darken up her lips like so. And we're going to go back and lighten up her eyes just a little bit. And uh, like that. So again, you've got some real drama you can add in. Now, if we, I wanted to emphasize her eyes even more, we could bop over to the blur tool. And I'm just going to blur this out uh, very subtle, as you can see. We're just kind of blurring out everything except her eyes, and we're going to actually do the hair too. Let me move up a little bit, like so. And you can go crazy with this, as you know, you can go as, as much as or as little as you want, and uh, blur this a little bit too. So again, we've we've taken an image and that was you know looked pretty good, but made it even more dramatic. And and it's all about the drama. It's all about the impact of you know your stuff is going into multimedia presentations, DVD menus, um, print, you know all this stuff. You really want to boost it up with some really cool um, impact. Um, let me just jump over to lighting. Um, this is another thing. This is a filter that um, one of the render filters has been around for a long time and uh, I think a lot of the problem is filters and tools that have been in Photoshop for a while you may not use but you know they're still pretty cool so let me drag that out a little bit and uh, like so so again we're adding just some extra drama I'm going to click OK so again, now we, we've starting to we're we're starting to create a really dramatic picture from something that was pretty you know pretty normal looking. 
Let me just revert back and we can see how it snaps back into place. See, this is much more balanced and even, whereas we were really emphasizing stuff before. One last thing I want to show you is the mask mode. Now, mask mode is something that Photoshop really excels at, and you may not be getting into masking and all this other stuff, but it's really, really easy, and I'll show you that right now. Mask mode's right here. This is quick mask mode. Just click that, and you are now in quick mask mode. You just select your paintbrush. And I'm going to actually select some areas that I want to blur out. Again, we're going to emphasize the eyes here. So I'm just going to paint over that. You'll see the mask uh, showing me that it's tinted red, like so. And then that's it. And then once you switch back, you have your selection. And we're actually going to uh, inverse that. And not only that, we're going to blur it a little bit. I mean, feather it a little bit. Just grab it so it's a much smoother blend. And once you have the mask, you can actually do stuff with that selection. And uh, we're actually going to go up to blur and uh, drop it down a little bit. So again, that's a similar effect that we did manually, but now we can do it pretty automatically. And I'm going to just deselect that. So again, now this is something subtle, and, and this took literally like less than a minute to create, but it really added some drama. And, and again, you can go in and kind of you know dodge and burn, and if you wanted to sharpen up the eyes a little bit, maybe to add that little extra, oh, that's a little bit too much. Let's not get crazy here. But just a few dabs in there, you know, really add some drama and really make it look impressive. So experiment with that. You know, try the dodge and burn and the sharpen tools and, you know, play around with lighting and, of course, the mask mode. You know, you really can emphasize different parts of the picture by emphasizing, uh, you know, using that mask mode to emphasize. And it's really, really cool. So play around with the experiment. Even if you just use these tools, just the ones we showed, you can really do a lot of stuff with uh, adding some drama into your uh, images.